So let's bring in Matt Harms now, who joins us from our studios in West Lafayette. All right, let's go back and talk about this weekend first, Matt. Uh, we heard that up until Sunday morning, there was a chance that Isaac Haas was going to be able to play, that it was a game-time decision against Butler. When did you as a team officially know, no question, he's definitely not playing? Um, well, uh, he was trying to get his brace approved. Uh, we had, he had a brace come in, and we were trying to see if he was uh, going to be able to play with that. Uh, but kind of as soon as he got hurt, uh, we knew that I was going to be able to, uh, was, I was going to be getting the start. Uh, so I had to be mentally ready right from the get-go. So that meant Haas wasn't playing. Grade him as a bench cheerleader for me. Uh, he was A-plus. You know, he was not just a cheerleader. Uh, he was a mentor for both me and Jaquiel, uh, Jaquiel Taylor. Um, he helped us immensely. You know, uh, every time I came out the game, every time during a timeout, uh, he was in our ears talking to us about things we might be able to improve. He was big time for us. You know, it's not like you're some schlub coming from off the bench. You played 16 minutes a game. You played in every game this year. But still, how did it feel different in the game yesterday? Um, just a little different. It was actually not that much different. Uh, you know, the only thing I was a little nervous about was uh, the tip. I hadn't tipped, uh, I hadn't done the opening tip since I was like 16. <laughs> uh, but when I got that, you know, the nerves were gone and it was just a normal basketball game. With your new role comes new attention. Um, what's your take on the attention your hair has been getting? Uh, no, it's pretty positive. I enjoy it. You know, uh, March Madden has made a little super cut of it. Had the little slow-mo at the end. I thought it was pretty <laughs> funny. Um, you know, it's, it's all positive. You know, a lot of positive replies. People look at, you know, trying to figure out what I, like what product I use. Um, how, to, how do I keep it, you know, in place? Uh, which I don't keep it in place because it goes everywhere. And that's why I'm always touching it. You know, it was really fun. So, you know, you mentioned afterwards that the product wasn't holding up. I mean, was it bugging you during the game? Or are you, are you going to use some, something different in the next game? Uh, no, I'll just stick to, my, stick to the same thing. Uh, I got a little game there routine where I just you know, put it in. I guess I wasn't uh, as attentive as I was normally to see if it was holding up. You know, it's basically on me. I like it. You got, you got one vote in favor of doing exactly what you've been doing. Hey, let's go back to the game. Uh, it's a super close, super tight game, and with 14 seconds, Dakota Mathias hits that huge three-pointer. Put into words for me what it was like seeing that ball go through the net. Uh, it was amazing. You know, we ran the play. Uh, we we're confident he was going to make the shot because he's been a big shot maker for us all year. Uh, you know, we ran the play. I set the screen. Uh, I actually turned around to look, and the ball was already out of his hands, so I was a little confused uh, what, what was going on. So I was... You know, kind of scrambling to go get the rebound, but it went in. It was, it was a big-time shot for us, and I think that was, you know, it won us the game. It was nerve-wracking to just watch it, that game. What was it like to play in it? Oh, it was, it was definitely a very tense game, you know, but, you know, we believed in each other. Uh, we believed that we were going to be able to win. Uh, only moment was that last second, last second shot from midcourt. <laughs> <laughs> no one bothers history with those. Uh, you thought maybe they'd get one this time. Um, that was definitely a moment where I was holding my breath, but... You know, thankfully, they missed, so it was, it was a big win for us. You got a week until Texas Tech. What do you guys need to get better at? Uh, we can always get better defensively. Uh, you know, it's always something we focus on a lot. Uh, our offense was, I think, it was pretty good against Butler. Uh, always, you know, always room for improvement, being more, you know, unselfish with the ball, getting our shooters open. Um, but defensively is definitely where our focus is always the biggest. Uh, ball screen D is going to be big. As it always is, you know, there's always opportunities for me to be better in ball screen D. Uh, there's always opportunities for our guards to be better at containing the basketball. Uh, so that's probably where we're going to go from there. One thing it maybe doesn't need fixing was Vince Edwards. He seemed a lot more comfortable. Do, do you think he's fully back to being the Vince we knew for most of the season? Uh, definitely. You know, uh, Vince is a big time player, especially in marks. That's when he really steps up. Uh, you know, he really showed um, that he is the senior leader of this team. And, uh, you know, it was, he was a big time for us yesterday. How much have you guys followed the rest of the tournament beside your games? Because it's been bonkers. It has been. It's been insane. And, um, you know, since our games have been pretty early, played around noon both times, uh, we actually, you know, after getting back to the hotel, we just had opportunities to watch basically every game. So, you know, we got, uh, we got to see UMBC make history, uh, watch some, you know, nerf-wracking Houston-Michigan game. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's really exciting to watch, you know, especially watch, you know, enjoy watching the Big Ten games. Um, sadly, Ohio State lost to Michigan State as well, but uh, watching Michigan win was, you know, it was cool.
I was going to say, what was that reaction? I mean, they're a rival, but it is the tournament, and you're not playing against them. So when that shot from Poole went in, what did you guys do? Uh, you know, there's a little animosity there from the time, you know, Big Ten tournament final. Uh, but then, you know, you want to know, um, being able to maybe get another, another opportunity against them would, would also be very, you know, very interesting for us as a team. So you're, and you're also cheering for the Big Ten, of course. Well, keep winning. You might get another chance. Congratulations on everything you've done thus far, Matt Harms. Good luck this weekend against Texas Tech. Thank you.